Previously, a couple episodes back, Bobby Fisherman's friends had been captured by Eagles and taken to Potser Prison. Bobby's plan was to rescue them, but he got sidetracked in the last episode after he met a magician and was headed to the chess festival. Now I'd like to go back in time a little bit and give you a view of what had been happening to Average Joe and Peter Potzer during this time. So the last time Average Joe and Peter Potzer had saw Bobby was when he was crossing the bridge to go see Capablanca to find out how to get off the island. They started to play a casual game of chess, but after Peter Potzer blundered, the Eagles swooped down, picked them up, and carried them away to Cloud City and Potser Prison. When they arrived in the prison, they were taken to meet the Eagle King. The Eagle King said, you must have made a terrible blunder or you wouldn't be here. Let me explain how this prison works. The point of this prison is not to keep you here indefinitely, but to train you and then release you back onto the island after you've reached a puzzle rating of 2000. Average Joe and Peter Potzer looked at each other. 2,000 seemed like a very big number for a 700 and a 1,400 rated player. At this point, the Eagle King said, to test which section of the prison you will be staying in, I need you to solve this puzzle. Depending on how you answer will determine where in the prison you will end up. And with that, he presented them with an empty chessboard and eight queens. And he said to them, here's how this works. Your task is to place all eight of the queens onto the chessboard at the same time so that no queen attacks another queen. See if you can complete it. Now, before I tell you how Peter Potter and Average Joe proceeded from here, if you would like to pause and figure this out on your own at home, the task is simple. You need an empty board, you need eight queens, or you can go to chess.com forward slash analysis and then click on setup position. You can clear the board and then you can just click on one of the queens. You can use white queens or black queens and you can add them to the board just like this and you can practice it along at home. So if you would like to pause, go ahead and do that. The link is in the description to go over to the analysis board if you would like to try this yourself. All right, well, if you had a chance to do that, hopefully you found the solution. And if not, let's keep watching and see if Peter Potzer or Average Joe could figure it out themselves. So at this point, Peter Potzer said to himself, okay, so I have eight queens. And if I put them on the board like this, that obviously is not going to work because there's lots of queens touching each other. And so that doesn't really make any sense. And then he said, okay, and if I do diagonally, it's going to be the same problem. There's lots of queens that are touching each other. That's obviously not the right move. So I have to somehow change it up. But how should I do that? And then he got an idea. And his idea was, what if I do a knight move away from the other queen just to see what would happen? So he did this, and he did this, and he couldn't go there, so he did this, and then he did this, and he said, one, two, three, four, five, six, I have two more queens, let's go here, and it looks like I didn't put any on this one, so I'll just throw this one here. Sorry, here. And he said, okay, that looks pretty good. Let me see if I did it successfully. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have eight queens on the board. He was looking, he was looking, ah, and he noticed a problem and a problem and a problem. And he said to himself, hmm. Well, even using the knight technique, they don't fit. So this must be a trick question. He raised his hand to the Eagle King and he said, I know what the answer is. It's a trick question. You can't actually put all eight queens on the board uh, without them touching. It's impossible. The Eagle King ushered some guards in. They took Peter Potzer away to the beginner level of the prison. Now, Average Joe was still thinking, and this is how his thinking went. He said, what if I start here and then alternate just jumping up and down the board as far as I can? So I could come here. Farthest would be here. I could come here. I could come here. No, I can't go there. I can't go there. Okay, where can I go? I can't go anywhere. Every square is covered. So this doesn't look very promising. So if you look carefully, all the squares are covered. This uh, file has no place for a queen. And he said, hmm, that's interesting. So then he tried again. And he started thinking about the knights the same way that Peter Potzer did. But Average Joe said, you know, instead of starting this way, since it doesn't work, what if I change it up 
and I start this way. So I just kind of move the queen up one square, and then I go for this knight pattern, because then I can get four queens nicely positioned here in the knight, you know, uh, a knight's move in between, which looks very good. And then let me see what options do I have for my queen on this file, uh, sorry, on this file. And he was looking carefully and he said, I have an option here and I have an option here. So which one should I do? Let's try this one and let's see if I have any more options on here. No, 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 no. I could put one here, so let's do that. And then let's check this file. Do I have any options? It doesn't look like I do. So if you look carefully, that's covered, that's covered, that's covered, that's covered, that's covered, that's covered, and then these are covered. So he was close, but it didn't quite work. So he said, okay, let me go back then, and instead of this queen being here, let's put it here and keep going with my kind of knight pattern. I'll put another one here, and then I only have these last two files to put queens on, it, before I say anything else, if you would like to pause, do you see a way to put the last two queens on if you didn't solve it previously? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, the solution is to put a queen here on g7 and to put another queen here on h5. And if you look very carefully, uh, actually, let's, let's start over here. This queen is not attacking any other queen, so that one is good. This queen, not attacking any other queens. So this one is also good. This queen, not attacking any other queens. This one is also good. This queen, not attacking any other queens. So that one is good. This queen, not attacking any other queens. Let's check all directions just to make sure that one is good. This queen, not attacking any other queens. This one is good as well. Okay, let's just make sure, yep. And then this one is also good. So he successfully solved the puzzle. He told that to the Eagle King and the Eagle King nodded his approval and sent Average Joe away to the intermediate section of the prison. And as Peter Potzer and Average Joe were being taken to their cells, the guards reminded them, you have to eventually reach a puzzle rating of 2,000 to escape the prison. And upon hearing this, Peter Potzer began to get quite discouraged because a 2,000 puzzle rating seemed near impossible to him, and he wasn't sure how long he was going to be stuck in Potzer prison. That's where this episode ends. I'll see you guys next time. As always, thanks for watching. Stay sharp, play smart, and take care.